Public indecence is defined by one of its foremost theoreticians, Ulefikete Asante, as follows in a quote, a frame of reference wherein phenomena are viewed from the perspective of the African person. The Afrocentric approach seeks in every situation the appropriate centrality of the African person. Mm. Close quote. So when you talk decolonization, um, we must also ask you, are you talking Afrocentric? I'm standing from an Afrocentric mm. platform because English is a very slippery language. Mm. Because we must ask you, in which cultural universe are you standing mm. when you engage with uh, because even in Latin America there's talk and there's been talk about decolonization. But what is the nature and the character of decolonization for you as African people? But most fundamentally, the epistemic and political obligation of today's black students activists is to kill and bury the lie that white people are the discoverers and inventors of almost every place or thing we know today. Why should the black student activists of today challenge this intellectual violence? There are a number of reasons, but one of the most important is that no individual or group can do anything meaningful for themselves or contribute meaningfully to the advancement of human civilization if they are afflicted by an inferiority complex. Mm. You can't achieve anything, that's what Marcus Gavi says, if you don't have confidence in yourselves first, because if you enter into any engagement, you are already defeated